<laughs> What's that noise? What's that noise you're making? <laughs> uh oh. What are the dogs looking at? What are you guys doing? Are you chasing something? Alright guys, time to answer a couple questions. Um I'm only gonna have time today to go through the ones that were left. Sorry, I'm walking down the porch. Um, through the ones that were left on the last um, question and answers video. I'm sorry guys, it's windy out. Um, let's see here. If I can get my phone turned on, Miggy. Yes, I'm never prepared. Never prepared. Okay. Do you crate the boys when you leave the house? Yes. Also, where do they go when you're on vacation? Well, um, we haven't been on a vacation in since 2013 or 14. <laughs> and those were just for short weekend uh, trips up north in Michigan. So, and when we did go, we had our mother-in-law stay with the boys. So. They, she came and stayed at our house, so they were in our house and didn't have to go anywhere. So, which we are leaving July 7th to go to Port Huron, Michigan. And she will be coming and staying with the boys too. And I need to make some lists um, about their feeding schedule and um, all that good stuff and what kind of treats they get throughout the day. Since it's got to be very specific because um, of their low fat diet, so for Max. So maybe I'll share, if you guys want me to share with you how I write out my list for her, I can just let me know. Um, let's see. Have, have you ever said your real name? If not, is there a reason for that? Nope, I believe I've said it a couple times. My real name is Kim. So there's no reason to hide that, <laughs> but my name's Kim. Um, let's see. How do you how do you play with your dogs, and, and for how long? Oh, geez, we play fetch. I chase them around the yard. <laughs> um, I dance with them. I know that sounds silly. Uh, I sing to them. We do all kinds of stuff. And of course, Miggy plays ball all day. I kick this ball probably a couple hundred times a day. <laughs> all right, let's see. Um, and for, oh, it said for how long too do I play? It seems like all day. Um, I don't, I waste a lot of time playing with these guys. <laughs> Okay, and she also asked, do your dogs have dry skin? They don't have dry skin, but they do have um, allergies. So, um, does the heat bother my dogs? Uh, the heat doesn't really bother them, but uh, I don't let them stay in the heat too long to where it does. And she also asked, how do I know if my dog's happy? Uh, I think you would know. Like Mickey in my, in my last video, I showed him kind of moping around because he wanted to play. I think your dogs will be able to, t you'll know when your dogs are sad or something's wrong with them. Okay, I wanted to ask you, do any of your dogs have to take fish oil pills for dry, dry skin? No, nope. they don't have dry skin and I don't give them the fish oil pills because that's, from what I understand, like a fat and I am trying to limit their fat intake. So I do not give them which a lot of people are me for their allergies. Um, I do not give them fish oil pills. And a lot of people wanted to know if that was Mozzie sitting on the couch the last video. <laughs> I laughed right along with you guys when I was editing that video. Mozzie, you look so silly sitting like that, but you guys, he sits like that a lot. <laughs> he sits like a little man. Yes, he does. Um, let's see here. Oh, I think that might. Did any member of your family ever react allergic to your dogs? No. Uh, no one has allergies to the dogs. 
Um, I really need to write these uh, these uh, questions down, guys, so I'm more prepared. Have I used the Frosty Bowl? I did put it in the freezer and use it um, to see if it stayed cold um, pretty long. And yes, it stays pretty. It stays cold pretty long. It's just the water don't last in it because I have four dogs. <laughs> so I actually gave it to my um, son's girlfriend for her cat um, because they didn't. Hit, their air conditioner was broke. I don't think it's fixed yet. And it was really hot. She was really concerned about her cat, so I gave her the bowl to use. Um, I think that's it. And again, if I missed your question, um, just put them in the comments below and I'll get to them next week. But the dogs are doing good. They killed the, and if you're on my Facebook page, somebody killed the chipmunk. And I think that's what was making, um, like tunnels, or it was a shoot. They also killed a shrew or a mole. I don't know what it was. It was making tunnels, and now we've covered it with some dirt. We need to plant some grass seed, but it had this whole back area here tore up. So they stay back here in this corner because they're looking for an more animals to kill, aren't you? Yes, you are. They lay on those dirt patches too, I think, to feel if there's an animal in there. So, anyways, here's some clips of. Uh, I tried out some bully sticks for the boys. I've never bought them for them before. So here's some clips of uh, what I recorded trying those out. And again, if you have any questions, leave them below and we'll answer them next week. Bye guys. Okay guys, the boys are gonna try for the first time these bully sticks. I've never bought them for them before. These ones are quite big. They were on sale for $5.99 for two. And that's why I don't buy them much because they're expensive. <laughs> and I know they'll probably eat them in one day. Boys, you guys want to try one? You guys want to try one? Okay, let me get these open, guys. And then I'll be right back. I think, I think they are intrigued. I think they are. What are these, boys? What are these? Huh? Let's give one to Miggy, who's been depressed. Give one to him. And we'll give one to Marley. And to Mozzie. And to Max. Let's see what they think of these. Especially Mozzie. He's a picky bone eater. Well, it's not a bone, but... Alright, let's go see where they took them. <laughs> you don't know how to drag it? Get... <laughs> he wasn't sure how to pick it up and take it. Okay. Let's go see. What do you guys think of those? You like them? Okay, let me, I'm going to look on my phone, see what time it is. Let's see here. Hold on. Okay, it's 3.28, so 3.30 basically. We'll see. There's Mickey, he took his ways way over there. There's Miggy over there enjoying his. And where's Marley? Here's Marley over here. They're all chewing on them. So they all seem to like them. But we'll see if these are long lasting for a schnauzer or not. And as you saw, they're pretty long. See there? They're pretty long. So we shall see. How long these last? Be back. Okay, we j it's been 45 minutes and look, there's still a ton left. Somebody got theirs down kind of far, <laughs> farther than the rest. You guys want them back now in the house? Okay, we'll give them back to you. I know you, you, which one do you want? You want the short one? Okay. So yeah, I thought they'd be gone in like, oh, 15 minutes. Cause they, whenever I buy them stuff, they eat it down quick. But so those are worth the money. I have to go get a couple more before they're uh, not on sale anymore. So there you go. They like them. Yes, they do, and they last a long time. <laughs>